Oh wow, it's a big one. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh wow. What's up, what's up YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another episode of Don's Adventures. We're back at the spot, me and my buddy Eric. We're gonna be doing some fishing as you can tell. I'm super excited because the tide looks perfect. We got two hours to high tide. We got an incoming tide, but the water is exactly the way I want it. Like, just like a swimming pool, guys. Look at that. That's just beauty right there. So, targeted species, of course, it's something for the catch and cook. I got my cooking stuff in the car. I'm hoping we get like a Corbina or maybe a Calico bass. Something that's delicious and it's legal. All right, you guys, it's been a while. So stay tuned. I'm gonna give you guys a good video. All right, guys, here we go. We got the double dropper loop set up. Got the weight on the bottom. That's about a two ounce stone sinker that I customized. As you can see, it has a swivel, built in swivel. I used some proxy glue, I made that. Let's go ahead and cast it out. First cast. Good distance. Good strike zone location. Let's see if we'll get something right off the bat. That would be nice if we could get something right away. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. Look, I'm not even set up yet. I haven't even set up this rod yet. Oh my God. What the hell? That was totally unexpected. I swear I was just running my mouth. All right. It's not it's not that big, guys. It's like barely fighting. Is that a perch? What is that? <laughs> That's a rockfish, guys. Look at that. First fish of the day. We got ourselves a brown rockfish. A bronze rockfish, whatever that is, I'm not sure. I'm not too familiar with the rockfish around here. You guys in Northern California, I'm sure you know exactly what this is. I'm just happy to get it, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and take the hook out and let this guy go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and release this guy. Let's wait for this big wave to come by. There you go, buddy. <laughs> he was swimming as he was falling. <laughs> I got a fish, bro, what right kind? away. Rockfish, I'll show you. Oh my God. Yes! We might have had a hit on this, guys. Let's see. Okay, we're getting that. We're definitely getting. All right, I got it got it yes yes i was like we're getting a hit on this i'm like i'm gonna set the hook if it pulls it one more time and before i was able to finish my sentence guys we definitely got one it feels like a ro another rockfish too yeah i can feel it trying to dive down oh never mind i can see what it is <laughs> it's surfing in it's a stingray. It's a small, super small stingray. It's a tiny little stingray. There it is. Second fish of the day, guys. Second fish of the day is a stingray. Let's go ahead and release this guy. Fish on, guys. Fish on. All right. 
It's a pretty good one. Yeah, it feels pretty good. What does it feel like? It feels like a uh, croaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a croaker. <laughs> yeah, it's a croaker, guys. Look at it. And the way you know what the fish is gonna be is the way the fish fights. So, croakers have this weird tendency of fighting and dying halfway in. Bam, guys, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> nice. Let me get a picture. One croaker down. Let me get a picture. Nice. Fish on, it's a good one. Oh man, it came off, I think. No, it's on, it's on. It's on, guys. Fish on, it's a good one. Oh wow, it's a big one. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh wow. Look at that, guys. Oh man. Do we have another? Do we have another ray on? Let's see. Oh wow, big fish, big fish, it's got like head shakes to it, it's got some head shakes, so I don't think it's a ray. Oh, it's stuck now, unless it's a ray and it's just grounding itself, that's probably what it is. It's probably a ray or a guitar fish. Guitar fish sometimes. Oh, oh man. We got a big boy. I don't even have a net. I'm totally screwed. I don't know what this is. No, it's not a croaker. I've never seen croaker pull drag like that before. All right, I'm gonna walk towards it. It's coming right over here. It's swimming right here, guys. He's down here, whatever this is. What is this? I think it's a guitar fish. Yeah, it's a big, big, it's a big guitar fish huge all right we're gonna go go down to the beach we're gonna land this guy by the beach all right guys here we go Here we go. Here we go. It's a giant guitar fish. I have nowhere to land this. I have nowhere to land this guy. I'm gonna go over this real quick and try to land this guy, guys. All right, here we go. I didn't want to get my feet wet, but it's too late now. Oh man, it's so big. It's so big.
He's so big guys, I have nowhere to land this guy. He's going that way, which is good. All right, we got some beach over here. I could probably land them here. I'm, I'm getting wet, look guys. I'm totally soaked now. But I don't care, I gotta land this fish. Do we dare do a catch and cook guitar fish? That's the question. Yes! Got it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god, guys! Oh my god! Stay there, stay there. One like this? Yeah, I got a bunch of oh my god! Look at the size of that thing! <laughs> Catch and cook guitar fish! Alright guys, that's gonna be it for the fishing portion. Now we're gonna go to the cooking portion. Yep, that's it. See you at the cookout. All right, guys. So we're back at home. I got my shovel nose shark right here on my table. I'm gonna start flaying it up. There's a lot of good meat in this tail, guys. Look at that. Look at all that. And this is supposed to be a white fleshed fish. I'm gonna go ahead and start flaying them up. Cut the flays in small pieces, put it in these containers. And I'll decide what I'm gonna do with it later. All right, let's go ahead and start. All right, guys. Took off basically all the meat from that side and that side. There's a lot of good meat on this fish. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off that skin, the top skin and the belly skin as well. So let's go ahead and take off the top. What you do, I've already made an incision but I'm gonna show you guys. Make an incision right here. Make an incision. On the bottom piece, on the smaller end of the fillet, make an incision, put your knife, grab the skin, okay? Grab the skin like that, and just run your knife through. You gotta have a pretty sharp knife for this. That's the skin that we just took off from that side. It actually had a very thin membrane of bloodline, a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be. So this is actually a very clean fish. And now I'm going to go ahead and take off this bottom piece. I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. All right. Again. Make an incision, the bottom part, so you have somewhere to grab, just like that, and just run your knife through. Make sure you have a flexible flay knife, that way you get most of the meat out. 
That's it guys, straight on both sides, there's actually no bone in this meat, this entire filet, the entire tail of the guitar fish coming from this top portion, I still, you see the, that part, I'm still going to cut out some of this, I'm still going to cut out some of the meat, but the entire back portion is boneless except the vertical spines all right that's it let's go ahead and chop up the meat just like i did like that then little small portions and i'll get back to you okay Here we go. I got my tacos all set up. Got my avocado. Got my cabbage. Got the cheese. Let's go ahead and put some of this guitar fish. Now this is the breaded one, guys. Cajun breading. All right. There we go. That guys look how gorgeous that looks man now I made a lot because I'm gonna enjoy it with my family and I don't think they've ever tried guitar fish before so that's gonna be something new bam look at that mm -mm. Really good. And the last taco. This looks delicious guys, I can't wait to try this. I'm definitely encouraging you guys to go out there, fish, catch fish, cook it yourself. Don't take other people's words for it. Try it yourself, I mean you have taste buds. Try it yourself. If you're a good cook, you could make anything taste good. 
So, don't take other people's words for it. Do it yourself. Let me get, get, get a, a final view of the product. There we go. It's got the tacos. Got the soft shell tacos. Gonna go ahead and try it out. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys sticking around. I got some, I got some more videos coming up. Thank you, take care. And don't forget to like and subscribe.